today we are going to discuss a not so uncommon condition of the spine which we call as scoliosis. I am Dr. Harshwardhan Hegde. I am a director in the Max Group of Hospitals, New Delhi. Scoliosis is not an uncommon condition like I told before, but it's uh, most frequently seen in girls at the age of 9 to 14, 15 years. And this uh, kind of scoliosis that we see is known as idiopathic scoliosis. Here what happens is that the spine undergoes a slight change in shape. Instead of being straight, when you look at a human being from the front, the spine has a bend either to the right or the left. And that is what we call a scoliosis. Most commonly seen in uh, that age group, which is called as idiopathic scoliosis, but can sometimes be seen when a child is born, which is, uh, and as the child grows, gradually in the first two years of life, and that uh, is called as congenital scoliosis. Scoliosis can also happen because of aging and the changes that occur because of aging, including osteoporosis, uh, compression fractures, uh, fall of disc height, etc. And that is called as degenerative scoliosis. Sometimes scoliosis can follow injuries to the spine, compression fractures and dislocations, and it can also follow infections of the spine, commonly seen in tuberculosis of the spine. Today we'll be discussing about uh, idiopathic scoliosis because it's the most common variety of scoliosis. Usually with mild curvature, there is no surgery that is recommended. What we generally tell people is to continue with a good physical activity, exercises like swimming, cycling, etc. and keep oneself fit and to see that the bone density and all keeps well, a uh, good amount of vitamin D in the diet, etc. But in case the deformity increases and gradually reaches 40 degrees or further, it may necessitate correction. This surgery is essentially for cosmesis to correct the awkward appearance that you see in a child. And it results in very good correction and we can correct it to nearly normal or normal curvature uh, shape of the spine. During this correction, we use commonly use screws and hooks and rods to correct the spine. And during that correction, we have to be cautious not to injure the nerves. So we use somatosensory and motor evoke potential during the time. The other varieties of scoliosis have to be dealt differently. These surgeries have become very safe with advanced anesthesia, very good operation theater equipment like good operating tables, x-ray machines and navigation available and even robotic uh, support. The surgical complications have been reduced drastically and uh, we have seen excellent results of this. And in a hospital like Max Hospitals, we have done this frequently with uh, very satisfied patients. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.